Hello beautiful souls, welcome to the heart space. This is a reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. There are no dates on my reading. I do trust and believe that whenever you're going to receive and watch this reading is the perfect timing on your journey. And so Capricorn, I kept receiving messages throughout the last two days. There's some message uh, regarding being comfortable in your own skin. You have to find ways to be comfortable in your own skin, to love your body more and more, to, to embody this self-worth more than ever now. And also there's a message from Spirit regarding you abandoning yourself over and over again for other people, for other people's needs. Uh, for other people's expectations, not not being in touch with your higher self, with your intuition, rejecting maybe the nudges that you receive from spirit. These are all situation and aspects of you abandoning yourself. And so there's a specific message here for a few of you about looking within and trying to reflect on what are the things that you are abandoning yourself every day and what can you do better? What can you change in your life that will help you embrace yourself instead of abandoning yourself? And I kept hearing lost and found, lost and found. So let's see, I'm going to get a couple of energies and messages from the Lantern Oracle for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Mm, 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 mm. Radical honesty. I had a feeling that this card is going to come through actually. To believe in the facade is to suffocate in the armor of alienation, self-defeat and self-denial. I need to read this card. Yeah, there's a need to be honest with yourself, Capricorn. There's a need to be comfortable in your skin and to put yourself first. Be very honest with yourself, with your needs, right? All right, let's see. The modern warrior assures you that it is okay and not at all a failure or flaw to experience disappointments, betrayals of the heart and confusion. Rather, this is what it is to be transparently and universally human. She encourages you to look candidly at your current limitations and past the regrets and the things that you wish were not part of your character or life story. The mother cautions you against continuing to deny any unwanted reality in your life and your uncomfortable feelings about it. It is not okay to ignore what does not authentically fit you, that creates unease or any kind of self-compromise or incongruency in your life. While denial seems to be an easy and simple solution to what evokes aversion or discomfort in us, it is not. To maintain the ongoing armor or facade of denial leads to a life on the battlefield or of perpetual deceit, manipulation, strategy and estrangement from ourselves and others. As time continues to go by, what is avoided or denied grows into an ever harder and larger landmine to navigate. The path of radical honesty can only beget more honesty. No one, regardless of how perfect they are, or their situation may seem is immune to the full spectrum of life. We all have pain, shadows, insecurity, battles, scars, stories of shame, and things we wish we had handled with more grace. As you become increasingly transparent, you attract more authentic and like-minded people and those of the life fall away. Mother's message, consider your reality as a mirror reflecting all of yourself back to you. See yourself through the eyes of compassion and love. Make it a priority to experience yourself an authentic connection with others and feel your world transform into the joyful fulfillment of all that you have been fighting for. So see yourself through the eyes of compassion, Capricorn. And when you start being really real with yourself, really authentic with who you are, then you will see a big shift in the people that are around you in the way you connect with yourself, in the, in the way you nurture and cultivate this space with yourself, with your higher self, with your intuition. Let's see, what else do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. This is from the Shaman's Dream Oracle, by the way. Okay. 
So we have Joyful Muse, Inspiration, and then we have Lay of the Land, Ancestral Wisdom. There is some ancestral talent that you that you have with you. For example, if you always had a beautiful voice or you always felt like you have to play this uh, musical instrument, it's a gift from your ancestors. Nice. Then we have Galactic Mushroom, the Divine Matrix. And then, beloved, radical acceptance. Look at that. There is a need for radical honesty and acceptance of who you are, Capricorn, and where you are. And I feel with this uh, galactic mushroom, your hopes are being heard, Capricorn. Uh, your gifts are being birthed. Okay, let's get into the spread. This is a Tarot of Sacred Kingdoms. I'm going to use this deck for you. Let's see, what's the most important message from your spirit guides? Thank you, spirit guides. What do you have for Capricorn? Ace of Pentacles. Look at this guy. He's actually creating this new opportunity, creating this vast potential. That's what I'm getting here. For others, though, I'm feeling this is your spirit guides bringing in these gifts, these uh, talents these blessings that you have been waiting for now that you are starting to be really honest with who you are and what are your needs and why do you keep abandoning yourself you know you give yourself so much to others it's really time for you to embrace embrace who you are to embrace yourself and to ask why you keep giving your power away sometimes what's the insecurity there What's the trauma there? What needs to be healed? It all comes down to traumas that we keep bringing from different past lives or we keep repeating from our mother's womb. Give me the obstacle. What's the obstacle for Capricorn? Seven of Cups. Look at... This lady is like sitting in silence in a dark room. Wow, I've never seen this energy in a Seven of Cups, actually. It's pretty cool. It's almost like she's meditating in a Seven of Cups. It's almost like she has so many thoughts. She's, she's got maybe um, anxiety and she's overthinking. She's overwhelmed about something that she's, she's deciding to just sit in silence and pretty much... Try to go within, try to meditate. I feel like this is the obstacle. You need to find space and time for yourself. It's coming to an end. Eight of Pentacles, a job position, a work project without no goal, maybe. Something that you just felt like you had to automatically do. Those things need to crumble for you to take layer by layer aspects of yourself and figure it out where this lack of uh, acceptance right where this lack of self-worth is coming from mm, that's pretty deep what capricorn is not seeing what's the blind spot four of cups four of cups usually represents an energy of a boredom, an energy of not happy with life, not happy, not content, right? Not happy with what you have. There's a need to go through the shadow work, Capricorn. There's a need to uncover yourself. There's a need to sit with yourself and ask yourself who you are at your core. What are the patterns that you've brought into this lifetime to look at and heal and transmute? What is the ancestral wisdom, right? But also the ancestral patterns that you are about to break, that you need to break in this lifetime to make space for a more, for a more integrated Capricorn. Because there's something that's not working anymore. There's something that's pulling at you because you need to recognize that thing. You need to be very honest with what 
it's not working, what it's not in alignment with where you are right now and where you want to go. You might be very much in, uh, in the middle of this 3D matrix, really busy, not having time to sit down with yourself, not, not having time to connect with yourself, right? And so the blind spot is that this introspection, this reflection, this you just sitting down with yourself, you know, quiet in your mind, it will be so beneficial for you, Capricorn. What's the advice? The devil, that's your card. Your advice is to look at your shadows, to integrate them within yourself, but also to make peace with your ego. Yeah, you have to straight up look yourself in the eye. This is you with yourself, really. This is you with your shadow. Likely outcome. Likely outcome is the Nine of Pentacles. She's fierce, she's independent, she, he. This energy knows their worth, 100%. And um, it comes from a very abundant place when we start nurturing our soul, our heart, our within, right? Then it will show Capricorn. Okay, let's clarify. I want to clarify this Ace of Pentacles, the main message. The devil again. There are some obstacles in your life, Capricorn, and you have to look at them. Because there's a lot that wants to come through. There's a lot of blessings, gifts, and opportunities. With this ancestral wisdom, there's a lot there that you can tap into once you start being very honest with yourself, very honest with your traumas, very honest with your shadows, to, with your fears, with your insecurities. We all have them. Mm. So we have six, seven of cups again, all confirmations here, and then six of swords and death. Yeah, it's a journey that only you can go through by yourself. It's not an easy journey. But if spirit is inviting you to do the shadow work, it's because you are ready for it. Okay? Six of Swords is my spiritual evolution uh, card. And then death, Scorpio, endings. Endings that make space for beginnings, right? Transmuting your fear into love transmuting this abandonment issue mm, that came through into acceptance right into compassion full compassion for yourself wow this is deep and pretty serious capricorn i want to see this blind spot what's this about four of cups capricorn please Lots of sevens, by the way, on the on the table here. Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands, and Nine of Cups. I feel like you keep giving your space, your effort, your time to people that might not have the best interests in their heart for you. Yet, because you, Capricorn, are such a giver, and I know that because I'm a Capricorn Sun, we keep rejecting these intuitive nudges that we receive. For us, it's more about nurturing others than nurturing ourselves. And that has to shift. There are some fears that may have stemmed from your childhood, okay? That you have to uncover, you have to delve into. There may be a fire sign that's significant to you. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. They're kind of draining your happiness, draining your energy. It seems like there's a particular person here uh, that, that has been hiding something from you, some secrets. Anything else here? Tower. With this tower, it feels like a major relief right now. Once this person, this energy, uh, this situation will move out of your life, it will feel like a big relief. 
Let's see, the obstacle, seven of cups. Five of pentacles, four of cups again. Wow, and queen of cups. It's stemming in your emotional body. Capricorn, it's something you have to look out when it comes about your emotions. Why you are feeling this insecurity, why you are feeling this abandonment, why you are feeling out in the cold, why you are feeling disconnected from, it, from the world, why you feel that sometimes you don't belong, you feel awkward, why? That's why you are invited to just sit with yourself and figure out what's, what's happening. Okay, be honest with yourself. Queen of Cups, you may be dealing with an, um, a water sign. Okay, let's see, likely outcome. Nine of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Nine of Wands. You're holding, you're holding to some kind of regret, disappointment, trauma, Something occurred in your childhood and it's obstructing your purpose. It's obstructing your evolution. It's obstructing your growth. One more. Four of Swords. Yeah. You are invited to reflect Capricorn. You are invited to go through the shadow work. You are invited to sit quietly, to connect with yourself, to connect with, with your spirit guides to connect with your body. Your body can tell you so much about yourself. Your body can tell you what's not working in alignment with the universe, in harmony with the universe. And what are the programs that we keep repeating and repeating because we are not consciously awake. We are now living in the present moment, okay? If this was valuable, please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Anything else in closing for Capricorn? Already there is value. Tiger spirit rises. Ooh, these are major energies. Safe to be seen. Yes, 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 yes. Vulnerability. Look at that authentic voice. Honesty. Honesty with self, honesty with others. You are safe to be seen, Capricorn. With this tiger spirit rises, it tells me that your, your passion, your sacred sexual energy is rising up. Your Kundalini is awakening. And you need to make space, you know, how you make space. Well, releasing, healing, transmuting programs that are no longer in alignment transmuting programs that has been hindering your path and then allowing this tiger spirit to rise, right? Okay, if you have a question in mind, say it out loud or just in your mind and we will get a couple of angel answers. Okay, you ready? All right. Perfect timing. There's no better timing than right now, Capricorn. Not the right time, okay. For some of you, it's, oh, okay. So you feel that it's not the right timing right now. What Spirit is saying, yes, it is the perfect time. Look at that. We have two confirmations here. Trust that you are here to be seen. You are here to love yourself. Give yourself that unconditional love to you and then you can share it with the world in the proper way, okay? You cannot keep giving and giving and giving to other people and draining yourself of that love and energy and time and effort and nurture. You need to fill your space first. And so, actually, let's see. Tell me more about the not the right time, just so we can clarify. 10 of wands and five of swords. Yeah, there's some fears there that if you start being honest with yourself, you will have to start being honest with others, with other people as well. And some people will move out of your life. And that is totally understandable and normal. So choose peace, choose yourself. One more. Hmm, beautiful. Knight of Pentacles and the Magician. 
don't forget that you are the creator of your reality you are co-creating with the universe right you have all the tools you have everything that you need within yourself you got this capricorn you just need to put more love more space more unity right more value within yourself because once again you keep abandoning yourself for everything else around you for everything else that's external and you cannot embody peace, unity, happiness, contentment, just giving yourself out to other people. Love yourself enough to say no sometimes. Keep embracing yourself. Listen to your intuition. Create. Create this relationship with your intuition because your intuition, once again, it's a muscle and you need to practice that muscle. You'll get better and better at it. All right. Thank you so much, beautiful souls. I wish you nothing but the best. And I hope to see you here at the heart space. Love you. Ciao.